I'm David Reeves, let's talk about matching suits and watches. Today I'm actually wearing the uh, James Cameron uh, Sea Dweller, which is quite a big substantial watch. I wouldn't really wear this with like a shirt and tie myself, but I think with like, like knitwear and like a casual kind of jacket, like something like this, it's quite robust. I don't have to like worry about like dinging it on things and stuff. And I don't have like a, you know, I don't have to worry about having like a monstrous kind of uh, cuff made to kind of fit over this. But knitwear, t-shirts, perfect kind of watch. With tailoring, it can be many different things really. It can be fashionable, it can be fun, it can be irreverent, and it can also be like conservative. And it depends on like your context of where you are and like what you're doing. And it's the same with like watches as well. Something like a Rolex presidential watch in certain people's eyes could be seen as a very flashy kind of watch, but I could wear this with like a separate uh, jacket and trousers or wear it with a conservative suit and it actually brings the whole thing down. It could be like some exuberant kind of watch or it could be on somebody like Dwight D. Eisenhower and then it just kind of fades into the background. But you know, if you're wearing something like a tweed suit or a corduroy suit or a corduroy jacket, something like an Omega Speedmaster is a really nice touch. It's kind of a functional kind of watch, quite an iconic piece. Finally, one of the quintessential dress watches, which is the uh, Patek Philippe Calatrava with the uh, hobnail uh, bezel here. Really nice and minimal, very kind of simple. Uh, if you're gonna wear this with like a, a navy three-piece suit, white shirt, uh, maybe like a gray or a navy tie, just very you know conservative, kind of clean, shiny black shoes, that kind of thing, this is a great dress watch. You could also wear this like quite nicely with like a dinner suit, of course. It's very kind of classical looking. It's almost like Big Ben on your wrist, this kind of thing, really, when you look at it. Strictly speaking, if you're wearing a, a tuxedo or, or dinner suit or like a white tie outfit, you shouldn't really wear a watch at all because the whole idea with that kind of thing was that, you know, you're at an event, a gentleman's not looking at his watch all the time. What I do like to do, actually, is if I do wear a dinner suit, uh, I like to uh, probably take something like this, put it in my top pocket, and I actually don't wear it on myself because sometimes I can be kind of uh, quite classical with ideas like that.